Hey, welcome back. So I decided to do this part. If you watch my previous video, you'll know that I'm sitting down here still making this other video. Uh, if you didn't watch the previous video where I told you about 11 things that women drool, absolutely drool about, uh, about the men physique, physical attributes. Uh, if you haven't watched that, please go and watch it right here. Today, I'm telling you 11 other things that women actually hate that are trending for men these things are things that are usual actually is is in the trend it's kind of so common you know and men do it without better than i did but women absolutely hate them and i thought i should tell you being a part of this community gives you the you know the express access to knowing what goes on in the mind of women that's for those who care okay and yeah so why not so many other things and some of these things are things that men picked up from peers you know some people feel women in their lives don't complain about or don't talk about and because it's not it's not everything that adults can talk to adults about in that sense you know which is why a channel like this is very important because sometimes you hear it objectively after all i do not know you personally you know so i can tell you the truth without trying to imagine whether it's going to hurt you or not as long as it's for your good, right? So I think these are some of the reasons why even when women are in love with men, they might not tell them, but some also will make sure that they change that habit. But anyway, I'm going to just give you a few. 11 is just a few among all of these trends that are so common among men that women usually cringe about and wish they can tell them that a lot. I don't like this part, okay? Now, if you love this kind of video, then don't go anywhere. I'll be right back to give you all 11 of them blow by blow okay please give this video a thumbs up now thank you okay so number one thing that women do not like or absolutely actually hate this video idea you know came from alpha m where he mentioned you know a few i think about 13 things that women hate and i just thought let me drop my own list look at his own and i'm like man anyway these are number one peeing everywhere especially in africa men can be driving with you they just park and then they just bring out their pee pee and they pee that's even when i was a teenager that thing really really grieves me like it grieves my heart right a lot of women don't like it a lot of women wish their men were more protective of their you know genitals much more private about it much more coordinated and coded about it but no that's not what we find a lot of men will be anywhere they say we we urinate anywhere and of course they are pressed of course they may not be able to hold it for a long time but i think we will just prefer that you do it more discreetly that's all yeah number two it's here you see those and beat her. <sighs> I don't know how guys do it. Like, so men actually can't raise their hand without it. I mean, you see the hair first before they even raise their hands. What's that? That's very unhygienic. First of all, yeah, we're adults. The hairs are growing naturally. Oh, okay, it's natural. Nature must be saying something. You may have your own idea okay i am very bad with um, ra with razor bombs or i don't like using hair removal creams whatever your excuse is the truth is you will still come off smelling better you will come off neater you will come out even more confident when you have to trim those hairs or remove them entirely every once in a while trust me every woman from every woman to you yeah number three thing that women actually hate that men just think is normal is having unkept beards wait you're doing beard gang so why are they not shaven properly why are they not you know we could be just can't get it right so it's better you just keep it clean shave it all off or just keep it clean that's the bare minimum right having unkept beard beards is a no-no mm -mm. It is a no-no, right? Put the one here, the one there, the one here, all of that. Please keep them trimmed, neat all the time, all the freaking time. <laughs> the fourth thing that we actually just wish we told you, and we are telling you through my mouth, is 
wearing too much perfumes. What's that? What are you hiding? Like too much. You come into a place and we can't even breathe anymore. Like yeah, we are like there must be an insecurity in your body order or something that you're hiding with all your mind. That's the way it comes off. Or that you're purely just ignorant about how to use um perfumes and colognes and you just overuse it for no reason. Or probably you borrowed them and just you know lavishly you know, put it on. Whatever it is, you know, comes off as, as immature, as ignorant, as suspicious. If you know what I mean. Too much perfumes in a way that the person with you is trying their best not to joke. Mm -mm. It removes the whole sweet aroma from the whole idea, right? Where the more subtle but there and firm, the better for perfumes in general, okay? The next one that we actually don't like on you is wearing loose outfits. Why? Why are your trousers baggy, your tops, your shirts, your top coat, everything is baggy. Like we can't even admire those, you know, nothing. It's just your face. And when it's, it's just your style, I don't know. But women who love you will tell you that, you know, wear something more fitting. You know, we want to see the abs sometimes. We just... You know, we just love it when you look really cute. Mm -hmm. Loose outfit is a no-no. Just like the next one I'm about to say. You see those tight-fitting pants and tight-fitting all the time stuff that makes you have a bulge down there. It comes out as very cringy. Like, ugh, thinking about it now. Why do you wear skinny jeans, tight-fitted? Please. Please. We're begging you. Please don't wear them. Don't. The next one that we really don't like is when a guy is overly too sexy, you know. Your your high maintenance. So you have cream. I wanted to tell somebody who had lip cream, hand cream, every cream. That's fine. But overly conscious about yourself, how you look, and then you have all of them cosmetics for everything, for your eyebrow, for your different for this, for that, you have to top up on this, you're rushing off to buy all your oil, your that. <sighs> Too sexy. It becomes a bit feminine and a bit, you know, weak. It becomes like a man who a woman can't, you know that, you know, we just love them. We just love our men crude in a way, in a, in a good way, crude in a handsome, hot, secure way that that whole over sexy just removes it makes us feel like we're dealing with ourselves if you know what i mean so no no too much of everything is bad just like too much of perfume is bad too much of over sexy over over dressing over cosmetics over everything over consciousness about how you feel how you work how you're moving no way no freaking way guys the next thing that we really really don't like actually hate is the hustle culture that thing when a man is always unavailable most of the time unavailable because he's working because he has to make some more coins especially now when a lot more women are securing the bags and maybe easily and it looks like you're always on the work culture because you just want to be the sole breadwinner just because you want to everybody to answer to you financially without caring for your health without no time for breaks no time to unwind your family no time to go shopping no time to just relax and just rest it comes off with a lot of anxiety for a lot of women who really love you if you're always all out there and your life is characterized by just making money making money you are not being the man you should be there's a lot so much more that a man should be able to provide in a loving relationship or in a family beyond money we hate the hustle culture we hate it as much as we don't like a man lazing around and not doing anything we also don't like the over hustle the over hustle that is hurting your health over hustle that won't let you take us on a vacation or follow us on a vacation over hustle that won't let you you know even know what's happening in your home over hustle that won't even let you know what's happening with your children over hustle that won't let you 
you know, be present in your children's life in a way that they hear your instructions, even where they are with friends. You are totally absent from the scheme of things, and that is really, 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 really a problem for most women. Please don't do it. Stop it if you're already there. The next thing that women totally hate, of course, every human being hates this one. When a man womanizes like a goat, I use that goat, and I don't mean greatest of all times anything, literally goats. Like, so a man can't put his penis together. He's always on the run for another woman, whether it's a house help, whether it's a help, whether it's somebody, who, a lesson teacher. Well, I mean, you can't do without slotting stuff into something. That's a big problem. No woman ever have. See, even the woman who is saying, oh, let's do an open relationship, who is a total whole and proud of it, is still still hates it that's how bad it is yes womanizing <laughs> it stinks from afar and it has no we have still have not found so scientifically socially we have still have not found any major reward that is positive that goes to men that goes to a man who womanizes who goes after every woman in skirt who just can't put his dignity together when it comes to sex none ever the next other thing that women absolutely hate is a man who brags about you get so you brag about things that other people have gotten easily and are still humble the women are just wondering how do i date this kind of person all right it just comes off very weird immature yeah insecure as well right and a lot of men who brag 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 brag, brag. women around you just think that this guy might be narcissist as well. He might just not be the kind of guy that I want to do forever with, right? Um, the next one also is when a man is over chatting girls, you're always the one to keep in touch, asking, always calling, 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 just because you know you want a relationship with someone and the lady has probably agreed, you guys have gone on one or two dates, then you don't let her breathe. She's at work, you're chatting her, you're angry when she doesn't respond immediately, you're constantly calling, guy have you ever heard about mystery there's something about a woman when she finds her man mysterious i mean you know she looks forward to meeting him so that she can get updated on what's happening with him you mustn't say everything all the time you mustn't be too clingy and jealous i think you should leave the relationship and deal with that aspect of you first before getting to have a woman in your life yeah so these are some of the things that um uh, absolutely I find that women really don't like. There are many more things, of course, but did any of one, did any of them resonate with you? I thought to let you know, so that you can, you know, deal with them, you know, ahead of time because there's no need, you know. I know we're not getting off here alive. Heaven is the goal and all that. I know, but I mean, you can do with one or two adjustments to make your life sweeter, make the woman in your life go all out for you. You know, another thing I really feel, I keep giving bonuses to you guys. Another one is a man who doesn't celebrate himself. I personally do not, I personally hate this one. A man that doesn't celebrate himself, he doesn't celebrate his special days, his convocation, his birthday. And even when you try to celebrate him, he comes over shy. He's not open to receiving love and surprises and gifts. We don't like it. Trust me. And a lot of women are not paying attention. They are, they are used to collecting from you. And even though you are not giving them, you, are, you know, you're not minding. They also don't mind. But that's not a good thing. You are human. So you should expect that people like, love upon you, love you, celebrate you and all that. Yeah, think about it and let me know what you think in the comment section as usual. What about this makes sense to you? Let me know in the comment section and we'll take it from there from next time. Okay, bye. <laughs>